right, 22 years of practice. I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm doing it because I've been encouraged. Laura Reinholdt. I'm a mammalian geneticist. I really think that you need to go to this conference. I know that you don't want to, and I don't think that your reasons are good enough. So going to conferences is definitely not in my wheelhouse. I'm an introvert. I live on an island. I live in a really beautiful place, but you know, this place has felt really small lately. I think as your skill set expands and your abilities expand, your need to connect with others um, and people who are doing things that are just on a different level than you just it increases. So I know I need to do this and I'm a reluctant participant, but I'm gonna go out to New York City for the AI National Conference. So rather than bore you with my personal experience of the conference, you know, I did the tours, I did the learning units, I did the speeches, I did the expo, I did a range of things. But you know, really for you, if you choose to go to one of these conferences, how you curate the experience is totally up to you. There are architects' offices to visit, boat tours, there are walking tours, hard hat tours, you know, classes of all sorts, lectures, keynote speeches, events, parties. So really, the choice is yours and how you choose to form that experience for yourself. But I do think, as a reluctant sort of participant in the beginning, that the benefits far outweigh the negatives. Lots of opportunities to meet people and network. And you know, if you live in an isolated place like I do, or you work in a small practice, you're a sole practitioner, a small group of people, this is your chance to go out and meet people, cross-pollinate, you know, really bump up against others who are doing things that are different than you. Yes, we all practice in the same field, but we're all doing different things. You know, New York City is a big place. It's a complex place. You know, the scale of structure that and building that is happening there is just incredible. It's something to behold as an architect, as a designer. Um, you know, whether you're gonna do that type of work in the future or not, it's just really fascinating to see. And to see the behind the scenes of it, you know, and hear from the people who have actually worked on those projects and are currently working on them and designing them and the engineers that are working on that, like, you're just not gonna get that insight just from touring a city. Aside from that, you know, the energy, the food, the people, it's a destination trip too. It's not just about the conference. So, you know, you can really treat this as a, an experience. Now, one of the really important things that came out of it for me was making personal connections. And, you know, I happened to make a personal connection from someone who I had been corresponding with online for about a year now. And, you know, we plan to meet up at the conference. We're actually collaborating and working together. So I think these opportunities just don't happen otherwise. Sure, these connections can happen online, but there is no substitute for meeting face-to-face -face in real life. I do think these networking opportunities have special value in, the, in this context, especially with such a large number of people. You're bound to find your tribe somewhere in amongst 26,000 people. Now, I think it's important before you prejudge it or before you decide that you're gonna wait 22 years to go to one of these conferences like I did, I think it's important that you find one that interests you and experience it for yourself. I go home from conferences feeling um, energized. Uh, I always have new ideas. I always have a, a notebook full of information. The other thing that happens is you get exposed to people who you hadn't thought of before, people you hadn't met, ideas you haven't heard of yet. I have to say the experience really did change my mind with respect to conferences. And then there's something that I'm looking to incorporate into my professional life from here forward, because I think they provide opportunities that I can't get elsewhere. All right, so before you go, I have a favor to ask of you. This conference has sort of taught me the value of connecting with others and you know the value of networked connections. I'm planning lots of new content for the channel, but I really haven't solicited your feedback on that. So this is your chance to tell me your thoughts on where I should take the channel, what kind of content you want to see me make. So up here in the cards, if you click this link, that's your chance to tell me exactly all your thoughts. It'll only take a minute or two to fill out. And there's even a chance for sort of one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. So look in the cards for more information on how you can do that. All right, that's it. Smash that like button below if this has helped you in any way. It really does help me and I so appreciate it. We'll see you again next time. Cheers, my friends. That's all we're gonna say. I thought we were gonna talk more about this. <laughs>